All right, so we have the Purge Act. What? The Purge Act. Purge this is a movie. Scary. Life is now taken for movies. Uh, in passing the Purge Act, Illinois became the first state in the country to abolish cash bail, defined as payments for jail release for arrested people who are still waiting for their cases to be heard in court. While the Safe Safety Act was signed into law by Government J.B. Pritzker in February 2021, and many portions of it are already in effect. The no cash bail policy will take effect on January 1, 2023. The no cash bail policy is part of the Pretrial Fairness Act, a piece of legislation. What is this word? Ensconced. 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 Y'all smart. Yeah, I don't know what that should say. <laughs> Ensconced. Ensconced. Yeah. All right. Ensconced. What does that mean? Built in, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Ensconced yeah, within the good. Safety Act that creates new processes for pretrial release and detention decisions. Ahead of its implementation, it had faced opposition from Republicans. All right. No shit. Uh, all right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Criminals could no longer be detained or required to pay required to pay bail in order to be released for violent offenses, including second degree murder, drug induced homicide, arson, aggravated battery, kidnapping and more. Okay, let me read this again, make sure I understand. Criminals can no longer be detained or required to pay bail in order to be released. Oh, shit. That's not Jersey. <laughs> That's not Jersey. Mm-hmm. No. All right, somebody tell me what this means. So basically, um, a big lawman from the state of Illinois <clears throat> released a, uh, he had a press conference mm-hmm. in which that quote that you have right there mm-hmm. came from him. And he called it the quote unquote purge act. And he said that um, as of January 20, uh, January 1st, 2023, um, we're going to do this mass exodus of criminals back on the street that are basically currently in prison awaiting trial. That's fucked up to call that the purge act. Word. No, that's what they do, though. You selling you selling the fear. You selling the fear. That's what they doing. Copaganda. Yeah. So basically, um, Illinois and most states in the country, if you get locked up or accused of a crime, you are going to get a bail set. So that disproportionately affects people of a lower income bracket, mm-hmm. and which typically sometimes are black and brown people. Mm-hmm. So Khalif Browder mm-hmm. was fucking 17 years old. They were poor. Mm-hmm. He got accused of stealing a book bag. C- couldn't make the bill. He sat in jail for fucking three years over a book bag because they kept pushing his trial back because they couldn't find the only witness had moved to Mexico. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And so he couldn't make bail. He yeah. couldn't make bail. His family didn't have money. He couldn't make bail. The boy sat in solitary confinement over 800 days as a juvenile but based on that bail system that was already in motion. Tell me why this is receiving backlash. It's receiving backlash. No, this is getting praise because okay. well, the, the so wording. I'm sure there's some people that are backlash. I, I did and see backlash. some people. Yeah. So yeah. the wording is the purge act. We letting the murderers on the street. We letting the rapists on the street. We letting this on the street. We letting that on the street. They have a point, right? But at the same time, in the United States of America, you are innocent until proven guilty. So if I'm innocent until I'm proven guilty, why the fuck am I sitting in jail for two years until y'all give me a trial? And that one, the only reason I'm in jail is, is I don't have the money. I don't have the money to make bail. <clears throat> That's it. But I could be innocent. It's motherfuckers that sit in jail for, for months. You lose your job. You lose your house. You might lose your car. You might lose all of these things to go to trial. And some evidence comes up that you wasn't even they, where, you, where they said you were. I could have mm-hmm. never killed these people because they got me on camera across town in Wendy's buying a motherfucking number seven. But I sat in jail for six months, eight months, how many other months, which disrupted my life. The state is not going to give me that money back to put my life back on track. Mm-hmm. They're going to say, oh, we sorry. And, and you going about your merry motherfucking way. You when it. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So it, it's, it's a... I understand. And it's motherfuckers who did it, but I had the money to get out. True. Yeah. That's true too. And that's where the... the that's true too. Like, yeah, I did it. But you know, okay, what's my bell? Cool. 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 That's true, too. I didn't even think about that piece. But, again, if we go on by the American justice system, I'm innocent until proven guilty. I shouldn't be sitting in jail because that's a punishment. How the fuck y'all punishing me if I'm innocent until proven guilty? Exactly. So they are worded how the Republicans Mm -hmm. and the Democrats and all politicians have been, again, for years selling fear 
as a campaign tactic. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Bill Clinton, Ronald Reagan, all of them yeah. came up with slogans during their campaigns sure. to sell fear, to get elected. Mm -hmm. But that selling that shit disproportionately affects us. Like you see that, that stat right there. <clears throat> According to the Center for American Progress, three out of five people sitting in U.S. jails have not been convicted of a crime. 60%. That's crazy. 60%. Ain't even been convicted yet. Mm -hmm. But you're in jail, which is punishment. Like said, that's the punishment for the crime. Mm -hmm. 60% of people in jail have not been convicted yet. That's crazy, dog. Yeah, it's crazy. But it ain't crazy to me because back to that C word, dog, motherfuckers make money off of people oh, yes. sitting in jail. True. You have a quarter to fill mm -hmm. of people for the jails. We just saw the two um, Pennsylvania judges got their ass cracked. They had to pay millions of dollars. And now one of them, I think, got 28 years or some shit. They was in bed with the contractors to build prisons. So they had to send more kids to prison to justify mm -hmm. the need for more space. Of course. That's fucking sick. You get, that's some psycho shit. That's sick. So now the contractor gets the opportunity, they own the land, to build another prison there. We're going to get millions and millions and millions of dollars, plus the state funding and all that other shit. It's a, it's a, it's a cash cow. I get it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? All right, so we're championing this then. This is great. I mean... <laughs> Don't tell me all that shit you just said. No, I'm, I'm on his, no, 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 no. To me. I'm on I'm on eight, I'm me. I'm eighty five percent of this. I'm with it. But it's it's definitely some shit where I might have killed a motherfucker now, they gonna let me out. Right? Cause it's not it might not be first degree murder. They're gonna let me out. Now I could torment his family. I could torment the witnesses. I could do a whole bunch of other shit. So it's definitely a scale. But see it, but if you saying sixty percent of the people that are in jail haven't been convicted, you gotta Rock with the heavier side of the scale. If so, my, 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 my thing with that is, yeah, I might have killed this motherfucker. <clears throat> if I had a bell, I could have made bell and still got out and tormented his family and did X, Y, and Z. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like th this is still good because the motherfucker that did something, he they, might not they, have had the money for bell. Again, like you said, uh, Khalif Brown and shit like that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like it's it's motherfuckers that was sitting. I'm on the team. I'm on. I'm, I'm on, on the team. I just see I'm on the side. Some of, of the opposition, and I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah it sounds good to me. New Joe Biden.